sat nav for, to go travel at gigs. Use sat nav. Uh, it's a nightmare if you use the. Uh, you can download voices to personalise your sat nav voice. You need, knew this, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've, uh, I thought it would be a nightmare if you had the sat nav voice of Michael McIntyre. <laughs> That'd be a nightmare, wouldn't that? Imagine that. You're driving along, about to turn you here. I get the junction, swing a left here. Have you ever been down this road before? I've never been down this road before. How exciting is this? <laughs> yes! So you know, right at the junction. Do you go left? Do you go right? Do you go forward? You can't. It's a nightmare, okay? <laughs> Do you know, right in Barnsley? <laughs> possible, you know, it's... <laughs> so there's no Norwegians in? Ah, oh, that's a shame. They're good. So the people who've been to Norway, you could tell the other people who have not been to Norway in this room, how good looking are the people from Norway? No. How good looking are those right. How good looking are they? I asked this person, where the hell do you keep the ugly people? He looked at me and went, Scotland. <laughs> I like the guy who does all the voices for Britain's Got Talent. You know, Peter Ruddy Dixon. He does every voice on TV and radio. He's amazing. He, he's so cool, man. Thing is, I can only imagine Peter Dixon having sex. Him just going, yes, 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 yes. Oh, Ruddy Hell. Oh, Jedward. <laughs> I know there's a lot of, by the way, so many cats, so many stray cats here in Los Angeles, okay? Excuse me. We gotta, I propose, thank you. We're gonna build an incredible cat sanctuary, okay? Huge cat sanctuary. And we'll be calling it Grab Her By The Pussy, okay? And by the way, by the way, a few weeks ago, I bombed, okay? I bombed a country in the Middle East, who knows, okay? I bombed it so well, did you see that? We gotta get rid of ISIS, ISIS. ISIS, okay? I'll be finished with ISIS, they'll be called is not, okay? Eventually there'll be nothing, they'll be like a double negative, not not, okay? And Hamas in Palestine, okay? Huge problem, Hamas, okay? Huge problem with Hamas. We gotta get rid of the main ingredients of Hamas. Chickpeas, olive oil, and garlic, okay? I love these taken films. I watch them whenever I travel. And it's always that quote from Liam Neeson, isn't it? It's always that quote. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But if you've got my daughter, I will find you. I will kill you. Mass <laughs> is like, yes, that's a very good idea. <laughs> I love it there, yes mate. I'm <laughs> running commentary on Germany. I thought, yeah, I mean, that, that quote's amazing from like Liam Neeson, but I thought, yeah, that's all well and good, Liam, with your weird, you know, in British Americanized Hollywood bullshit accent, or you don't really know where you're from. Liam Neeson should just revert it back to his native Northern Irish accent, that scary accent. Because he would have found his daughter like that. You ever heard me from Northern Ireland? You know, the terrorists going, We got your daughter! Now you f***ing let's be here now! So I think I'm going to give a f*** who you are! I don't give a f*** who you, what you want! But I'm f***ing tell you now! If you got me daughter, I will find you! And I f***ing won't! We just walked in now. <laughs> Welcome back, where have you been? <laughs> you know it's coming to be right, uh, our jokes on our hand, right? Okay, sometimes. I did that joke last week, and I wrote that on my hand, and off the gig, I got on the train, thought nothing of it, you know, until a woman was sat next to me, a middle-aged woman, and she, she saw my hand, she like, what is that? And she started panicking, what is that? I don't understand, what's going on? And I was like, well, I don't know what you came at. And I'd written al Akbar on my hand, right? She was freaking out. Instead of being a good guy, explaining to her what it was, when I got to my stop, I just looked at her and went, Don't to the West. And I fucked <laughs> off. Sexy, it's the German accent. <laughs> Sorry, German people. Any German people here? 
Yes? Good. Hi. I hope you laugh more tonight. Because being Jewish, half my family are dead. Now listen. The German accent. It's a strong accent, isn't it? It's all fun and games. All fun and games. All fun and games. Just... Uh, all fun and games. Um, I, uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was with this, put it in this book, it said, women don't like the German accent, right? Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I was with this once, I was with this lady, and went, I like this spoony like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that creepy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I'm an idiot, ladies and gentlemen. I think about comedy the whole time. She wasn't really up for comedy, because I whispered in her ear, Yeah, all is good, yeah! <laughs> Even more so because I was on a stranger on a night bus. <laughs> yes, we do like different things during sex. My ex-girlfriend once asked me to do an impression, to do an impression of Jay-Z. <laughs> That's weird, right? Do an impression of Jay-Z. So I f someone else. <laughs> uh, uh, 